there, and welcome to The Salted Pepper, where we cook for real life using real food and we keep it real simple. And today we are gonna make a jasmine rice pudding. And it is so quick and easy and tastes absolutely delicious. We're gonna do it all right in the Ninja Foodie. So the first thing I'm doing here is I have um, a coffee press that I decided to use with some jasmine tea leaves to get our liquid. So I'm just gonna press those. They've been steeping here for probably about Oh my gosh, maybe even an, an hour. Um, and I'm gonna pour it through a little strainer here because I, I'm pretty sure that some of the leaves are gonna come through and I don't want those in the liquid itself. So we're gonna strain this out here. I'm gonna need a cup and a half of liquid. So far I only see one little tea leaf, so this, this coffee press does a pretty darn good job. Um, you know, usually you use coarse coffee grounds with it. So you grind your coffee and you use a coarse uh, blend. So with the tea leaves, I thought, oh, it's definitely gonna go through, but it's doing a pretty good job. Now if one or two sneaks into the liquid, I'm not gonna worry about that. So we're at one cup here, just a little bit more to go. This thing kind of pours slow, doesn't it? All right, cool, one and a half cups there. Okay, so now usually when you're making rice um, and different varieties of rice require different water to rice ratios, but jasmine and white rice usually require a one to one ratio, but I'm gonna add in one and a half cups of liquid. Now, if you don't wanna go through the trouble of the jasmine tea, don't even worry about it, but then we're just not gonna call it jasmine uh, rice pudding, right? We're gonna call it just some other kind of rice pudding. It'll still be delicious though. All right, so one and a half cups of the jasmine tea. And I have one cup of um, white rice or jasmine rice. You can use either. This is actually white rice because I ran out of jasmine rice. Um, so that's one cup and I did rinse it very well. We're gonna put that in. Okay, so we're gonna put in our one cup of rice. And again, you can use white rice or jasmine rice. You can even use um, arbario rice if you have that. I did do one test of this with arbario rice. All right, so we're gonna stir that in a little bit. Now let's talk about our seasoning. So in our rice pudding, what I'm gonna put is a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and two teaspoons of cardamom. Now cardamom is a really interesting spice and I use it a lot in Indian cooking. Um, it kind of adds like, I don't know, it's like a combination of nutmeg and, and cinnamon, but it also has got this citrusy uh, brightness to it. And oh, it just, it smells wonderful and it really enhances the flavor of so many things. So I encourage you to give that a try. Um, but if you didn't have it, you didn't want to go to the store and buy it, then I would just um, use a little bit more of the cinnamon. So use another teaspoon. So a teaspoon and a half of the cinnamon and probably a teaspoon of the nutmeg. Okay, so I'm just gonna add in the cinnamon and the nutmeg there. We're gonna give that another stir. And we're gonna get this under pressure. Now I'm not gonna add any of the other ingredients and I'll talk about that in just a minute, um, why we're not gonna add those in. The last thing we're gonna put in before we uh, put the pot under pressure is just a pinch of salt. I'm not even gonna measure this because literally it's just a pinch. So it's about an eighth of a teaspoon, but just a little pinch there. Give it another stir and then we're gonna get the pot under pressure. We're gonna go under pressure for five minutes and then we will natural release for five minutes. the black valve in the back, you wanna put that to seal. That's gonna allow the pot to come up to pressure. So that's an important step to remember to do. Turn the Ninja Foodie on. We're gonna to go to the high pressure setting and we're gonna do five minutes. All right, and then just hit the start button. And what's gonna happen is the Ninja Foodie is gonna heat that liquid in there. It's gonna build steam. It's gonna come under pressure. It's probably gonna take about five minutes or so to do that. And then it will cook for five minutes and we'll let it natural release for five minutes. And then I will manually release the remaining pressure and we'll add in the rest of our ingredients and finish up our rice pudding. See how fast and easy that is? 
So the Ninja Foodie came up to pressure in just a few minutes, I think less than five, and it cooked for five minutes. And now we're just doing that natural release for five minutes. It's just about finished. And then I'm just gonna turn the valve to manually release the rest of the pressure inside. All right, there we go. All right, so the red button depressed, that means our pressure has been released and we can open the lid. We're just gonna go around, oh look, it looks good. All right, so now we're gonna add in some of our other ingredients and we're gonna put the Ninja Foodi on sear saute. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch the function there and hit the start button. We're gonna add in one can of sweetened condensed milk. Um, I think these are 12 ounce cans. So we're gonna add that in. We're gonna add in one lightly beaten egg. Add in our raisins. Now I'm using golden raisins just because I thought that the color was gonna pair nicely with this, but you could use regular raisins as well. And just give it a stir. Now what we wanna do is um, saute this just for a few minutes, and then we're gonna let that egg kind of cook in there and set up. Then we can determine whether or not we need to add any half and half or heavy whipping cream um, or anything like that. So we're just gonna see. Now it will thicken up as it cooks. And also as it cools, it thickens some too. So if you put this in the refrigerator and you wanna um, serve it, you might need to add a little bit more of half and half or milk or even water um, just to get it to a nice creamy consistency again. I like mine warm though, I like to eat it warm. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that sit for a few minutes. I'm gonna stir it um, and probably cook it about five or 10 minutes. Um, and then we'll add in the vanilla. Now the vanilla you wanna add in at the end and that is because all kinds of extracts are made um, with alcohol and alcohol evaporates when you cook under heat with it. So you wanna add it towards the end of your dish so that you don't evaporate out all the flavor. So we're gonna add that in last. And that'll give us the best vanilla flavor. Oh, it looks so good. If you think it's cooking too fast or sticking to the bottom, go ahead and bump that heat down a little bit. Now, mine is not, it's fine, but I'm gonna stay here and just keep kind of stirring it. The only thing I'm doing here is just letting the, um, the milk get hot, which it probably is already, and then just kind of cooking that egg in there. That, that's the base for our custard, and um, we want it to be cooked. You can see it's getting thicker now. As I'm stirring it, it's getting thicker. All right, I'm gonna let that go for a few more minutes and clean up here, and then we'll add in our final touches, and I'll get to taste this deliciousness. It smells fantastic too. Like you get the little, the jasmine smell and then all those spices and the cardamom really, really comes through in this. And I urge you to give that spice a try if you haven't already. It is just fantastic. All right, this looks good. So it is really thickened up some. And I have here a cup of half and half. Now I'm not gonna add it all in. I'm gonna add in about a quarter of a cup at a time and just kind of see. Um, you know, how much liquid. And again, when you go to reheat it, you may need to add a little bit more. But this looks like a good consistency right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the Ninja Foodi off and add in our vanilla. And give that a nice stir. Oh, wow, the smell is amazing. All right, that looks great. That looks perfect. Okay, let's try it out. All right, so once I put it in my dish and it started to cool even more, I think that it could use a little bit more of the half and half. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in another quarter cup 
and I'm gonna add just a splash here. Um, and again, just do that to your liking, okay? To the consistency that you want it to be. Give this a little stir in. Oh, wow. All right. Now you can also top this with some freshly grated nutmeg, which I would have done, except for I couldn't find my um, whole nutmeg. I don't know, it's in the cabinet somewhere, but I just couldn't find it. That looks absolutely lovely. Now, let's taste it. All right. Mm. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is certainly the best rice pudding I've ever had. Oh my goodness. The rice is perfectly cooked. It is creamy. The flavors are sensational. Wow. I love the golden raisins in here. Now you could use regular raisins, of course, but I really like that it's all kind of um, the same color. And I like that because otherwise it looks, you know, there's those dark dots of raisins and I just like this look better, I think. I think it's prettier to serve. Mm. Absolutely delicious. So easy to make. The perfect dessert when you want just a quick, something quick and sweet and perfectly spiced. This is your go-to. Rice pudding and the Ninja Foodie. It's perfect.